Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. The holidays are a time to feel and create joy. And what could be more joyous than the look on her face as she unwraps a stunning new jewelry piece from Blue Nile? How about getting 50% off your purchase? Blue Nile offers premium quality, priced below traditional retail. Their online experts are available 24-7 to answer any questions. And make sure you've picked the perfect gift. For a limited time, you can get 50% off at BlueNile.com. That's 50% off at BlueNile.com. PPG is the name of the game this week. We've got some playoff math. Vermees just had a press conference. We're going to look ahead to Minnesota. Um, I'd also like to talk about how Tim Melia is, got to double punch someone in the face and save a penalty kick without doing anything at all. That was cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Thad, what's going on? You just attended the virtual presser, correct? Yeah, and like you said, PPG is the name of the game, and PV not pleased with PPG. Yeah, that should be the headline right there. I heard he was not happy. But the the sad thing is, there is no alternative. Yeah, so, I mean, there's nothing else they can do. But he would like to play out the game so he could move up in the standings, because he can't. He can only get third. Yeah, uh, they they really should have just built in an extra an extra week in there, at least one. For, they did for all of this, but. They well, did. I'm, I'm saying one more. They only built in. They built in two, right? So if teams had two games and that was it, Pretty or much. one week, right? So yeah, one week. So two games is all they there had. Was, to... I think there was two midweeks that they had open, and then that yeah. got blown away pretty quickly. So yeah, yeah. What an ordeal. So points per game leaves us with looking ahead at least to um, Sunday against Minnesota. A draw or win will get that home playoff game, which is which means a bye also, correct? Yes. I think they need three points, quite honestly. To actually make it happen? You mean yeah, just in the to next two it. games they need three points? Yeah, yeah. yeah to guarantee it. Well, so that's let's just, doable. Let's just get it done. Let's win them both. And that's for the home playoff game and the, and the right. bye, correct, is what you want? Yeah. Yeah. That seems doable. It's Minnesota and RSL. And then while we're looking at that, so Seattle has the point advantage. Um, but, and well, I guess that's not a but, it's and. They've got three very weak remaining opponents. The lowly Galaxy, the Colorado team that we know all too well, and uh, San Jose. So it's looking nice and pretty for them. But Sporting is still set up really nicely after a, such a, a weird season that seemed like we were disappointed the majority of the season and they're, <laughs> and they're somehow like about to secure a, a home playoff game. And not only that, they'll probably finish second or third. I th- you know, they can definitely finish third if they play. Uh, they can finish second if they might get a little help. I'm trying to remember how that goes now. But right. it, looking back at the results, I mean, the, the – Middle the start of the season was five wins out of six. The last seven games has been five wins, a draw, and a loss. And you got to remember the loss was controversial and the draw was controversial. Both of them, I know. Um, so, so they're they're looking good at the moment. They're in good form, and in that several games, uh, that was without Polito. So yeah, which and and that's I think that's part of the feeling that I was like talking about there is like during those games yeah they started to string some wins together but it still didn't even necessarily feel like we were we, they were they were playing that well and so it's there was just a lot of there's a lot of frustration all year but here we are right at the end in such a great spot so this is this is fun that's just fandom though man teams never playing good enough you know no. 
grinding out wins in Cincinnati is not good enough. It has to be pretty <laughs> and by five goals and, you know, bringing home some crappy Ohio chili while you're doing it. Yeah, I was, I was trying to be all pumped up about that, and people were responding to me like, well, yeah, we better beat Cincinnati, the worst team in the league. Worst team in the league, but not worst at home. So I know, and and I was also making the point of we don't even really know. They, everyone's been playing the same four teams, so it's actually it's hard to actually tell who who is the best and the worst at the moment. Oh, it is. It it definitely is because some of those tests will happen in the playoffs. Some of them, at least, uh, you know, we talked about about Colorado. Well, you did. I didn't really, but I, I, mean, <laughs> I would have if you hadn't done it already. Yeah. Um, but Seattle has to play them. Maybe Colorado isn't that bad. Exactly. And we also, you know, the one thing with Colorado is they haven't played a lot because they've been quarantining and they've, they've not gotten a lot of practice, but they also, that also means they've got five games they don't have on their legs. They got five games of injuries that they don't have and have healed from previous ones. So they're probably as healthy as any team in the league, if not more so. Yeah, I know. It, it's uh, it'll be it'll be interesting. I, it'll, I would feel vindicated if Colorado did pull something out there that would make me realize that the team was good all along, and we were just playing some other good teams <laughs> over and over again. Well, Where is, Minnesota's uh, been pretty Dallas. good all year, so Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Where's Dallas at in the standings? I haven't even. Uh... Well, I'm not sure in the revised standings, honestly. Oh, <laughs> Did they? Yeah, it looks like the web, MLS website has done it. So Dallas is in six there. You yeah. Know, every, all the teams we've been playing, oh, oh, I guess Houston and RSL are down there. Yeah, it, it, that's so bad because Houston has taken points from sporting twice this year. I know. I don't think that, that they, they should are that have. bad, but whatever. There's just the speed. Speed always seems to kill sporting. At least for one play a game, and that's like all it takes sometimes. Yeah, and, but hopefully that's uh, hopefully that's been settled by the current lineup, right? Or potential lineups. Yes. Dia exactly. on the outside, Lindsay. And I mean, Lindsay's not the fastest guy in the world, but he maybe has a little more consistent defense slash speed than Zeus. Definitely yes. not the offense, yeah. but. Uh, Dia's got the speed. Um, Reed, when he was out there, has more speed than some of the guys. Hopefully he's back for the last few games and playoffs. We didn't really get an injury update today because I'm, I'm the one that always asks that in the presser, and but, I just didn't today. So I That is what I was about did. to ask. So we don't know about Reed, okay. I'll just wait till the game notes come out because last time the game notes came out and said Reed and Busio were out, and I said asked about them being out, and Peter was very adamant they were not out, but somehow hmm. they were not in the eighteen in yeah. Cincinnati. So, do we know anything at all? Was he like practicing last week, Reed? Don't know. They haven't posted any B roll in a couple of weeks. I and, noticed that. Um. I haven't really seen anything off of Twitter and we can't go to the game, can't go to practice to watch it. So playing it close to the chest right now. Yeah. That, I need to talk him into like, just open up like a flap on the, on the fence and we could stand up there, you know, 150 feet away and at least see yeah. something. Yeah. No binoculars. We won't bring binoculars. We'll just look from afar. All we can get from that. You know, I could probably use some of my, like, camouflage training and sneak up to the fence. There you go, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping they don't have, like, heat sensors or something, but I'm a little old for that now, so. All right, so Minnesota on Sunday, they have their own consecutive wins and six games unbeaten, although Sporting have won the last two between the two teams. That they have. So, oh, yeah, Roger. I wanted to talk about Roger briefly. He's like scoring more goals. He's keeping the ball down under the under the crossbar. I saw the conversation in our comments about that. Yeah, it's it, it, maybe this you know new new Roger, the new role he's undertaking has made him a bit more calm in the situation. Uh, probably that. Probably maturity. Probably not playing full games every game. Being yeah. tired. Yeah. Probably all plays somewhat into it. But he, he even joked about that in the presser about how normally he would send that over the crossbar and uh, <laughs> he, he made sure to just place it instead of blasting it yeah 
two already off the bench for him. That's cool. Okay. Who's going to win? What's your prediction? Win? Well, I'm always optimistic. Though Minnesota, now they're just Sporting is just too. They're just in the zone right now. Polito is Polito's gonna get two, and uh, we'll win three to one. Polito with two. Yeah, I would enjoy it. Yeah. Let's just hope they're all in my end when for shooting if I'm there. Right. So. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, what's your prediction? Do you give me one. Four one, Sporting. Oh, had to outdo me, of course. I just had to be different. I probably would have <laughs> went up with the same thing. Or I know, 3-1 always one. sounds so good to me. I feel like I always default to 3-1. <laughs> anyway, be sure to go follow for two us. One, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that's true. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, at Blue Testament KC, and join us at thebluetestament.com, and leave us a comment, and we'll talk to you after we secure this home playoff game. Go Sporting! Has just been sent off. Some part of strong and all comes off. My fun fun things got me drinking. My fun fun things got me drinking. My fun fun things got me drinking. Give me beer or whiskey, one or gin. Anything to shake this foot I'm in. My fun fun things got me drinking. My fun fun things. Yeah.